whale smarts getting it clean and part of that clean is changing out the front seats for two that I bought second hand from a wrecked smart uh, and the ones that I've bought do not have rusty bases on them and especially uh, driver's seat fabric is really good so they're going to get put in first of all they've got to get these out and to do that it's kind of okay you need a T45 and then the first of the bolts is hidden under there Let's see if we move this forward to get access to the rear mount. And yes we do. I'll take the seatbelt mount off while I'm here. That's a 17 mil. Right, let's see how this goes. Will it come out? Pretty easily. Bit of broken foam there. Well, what do you know? It's a journey of discovery for me. There are extra mountings for the entire base under there. And an extra mounting for the rail at the front. Well, that was easy to come out. Now a couple more just for the base. That's going to need a vacuum. But what's under the carpet? sand from the sea and some unpleasantness It's a bit cleaner than it was. So now to put the second hand chair in. So this is the seat out of the car. There's the rusty base. This is the second hand seat, which is quite dirty. I mean, even stuff like that. There's a lot less rust on this one and it works by folding down, whereas that one refuses to move. Hit this one with some cleaning stuff. And that's the driver's side out. And a bit of dust, a bit of crud. I'll vacuum it now. You. And then it was clean. Interestingly, the front mounts on this one seem to have those big blocks on them, not the back ones, as on the other side. And there's something to go on the carpet to uh, help keep the uh, bits of sand and such down. Let's see if that works. Hopefully it fits in, in front of the seat. Time for the old switcheroo. Well, that's in nicely and it even fits the rubber mat. So now I've just got to do the seatbelt. Nice. 